Matt S., shave your knuckles for justice. Thanks, Matt. What do you make of the COVID spike? The left is reporting it's from conservative areas and the right thinks it's from Black Lives Matter protesters. It's all shenanigans to me, man. Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny that that's how they report it. Yeah. I mean, what I'm getting from it is regardless of red state or blue state or... To me, the research that I'm seeing is it has to do with closed spaces. So areas, and there's areas in California that have opened up restaurants and bars where people are sitting close and in a closed space. The Black Lives Matter protests because it was outdoors and everyone was wearing a mask. And as Lee was talking about, everyone was facing the same direction, marching together, not face to face. In a bar, you're looking at people and talking face to face and people aren't wearing their masks and there's no wind. So... The, of course, these two stupid parties are trying to politicize it, but um, that's the evidence that I'm seeing. You know, and some people say, well, COVID is fake. It's not real because they're lying about the numbers. Well, I say these two things can exist together. Uh, and the example I use is, let's say we had a massive earthquake or a huge uh, hurricane or something like that like some Category 5 hurricane wiped all these people out, the government would take advantage of it. The government would lie and manipulate the statistics or whatever, and the, they'd fuck around with the funding and screw it over and use it as a means to, oh, we need to surveil you for earthquake surveillance for your safety, and the cops need to break into your home to make sure you've got earthquake insurance, whatever. They would do all these evil things. It wouldn't mean that the earthquake or the hurricane wasn't real. So... I think COVID is a legitimate thing. It's, it's, it's got a higher mortality rate. It's not just a bad flu. Um, and there needs to be more research about it. And because this government gave the bulk of its stimulus to big corporations rather than the people, it has forced the local governments, mayors and governors to debate on whether opening or not. So the fact that some of these governors, some of them in red states are like, we got to open this wouldn't be an issue. There would be no debate over whether we should wear a mask or whether we should open or not because those are all motivated mainly by money. Had the government said, here's $4.25 trillion, not for these fuck sticks on Wall Street, but here's $4.25 million, uh, 4 trillion rather. So nobody has to pay their rent or mortgage for four months. Nobody, everyone gets free health care now. Everybody, you know, we're going to do student debt forgiveness, so we're, you don't have to worry about that, right? We're suspending rent, no more student debt, no more, and free health care, and everybody's getting $3,000 a month UBI. They could have done that for that $4.25 trillion. They, in that, 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 all of those things could have been done. No one would be fighting about this. No governors or, you know, like the mayor of Huntington Beach was going to sue the governor of California because he wanted, <laughs> it's just stupid. None of that would have happened because everyone would have said, okay, I'm, I'm fine. No one would be like, you got to open up. We need money. We need money. Be like, okay, the government's paying for everything. It's okay. Rather than small business loans, they should just go, here's money, small business. Here. Like what they did in the, in, in the UK. 80% of your wages. Where the government's going to give you money for 80% of your wage. Some version of that. I mean, I don't know. You could cut it up any number of ways. Just give it to individuals or give it to all the businesses to keep paying their employees even though they have to close their shops. All the bars and restaurants, everybody in the travel industry, everybody who's just been wiped out, like no work at all. Great. Here's several trillion dollars. Keep all your people on the payroll and do what you can do. You get 80% of your salary or something like that. And the government's going to not going to pay your rent because I, 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 I feel for the, just like the small business owner who makes their money renting. They bought a little house or a condo and they're renting it out, or they bought a little four unit apartment complex and they're renting it out. And now all their tenants are like, I can't afford the rent. And so now these, these, these landlords are not big evil corporations. They're just people who had an investment property are like, well, shit, now we can't pay our mortgage. So there's this trickle down. So now everyone's like pressuring all their local governments, open up, open up, open up, open up, and they've opened up too fast. <laughs> we wouldn't have any of this shit. 
And of course Fox is going to say their dumb version and MSNBC is going to say their dumb fucking version. It's like, that's... If we had a real government that cared about its people, we don't. Our government doesn't give a shit about its people. It cares about the ruling class. It cares about the billionaires. It cares about Wall Street. It cares about these big corporations. It cares about the banks. It doesn't care about the, the government of the United States of America. And I include not just Trump. Trump's a jackass. The Republicans are jackasses. The Democrats are jackasses. Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, all of them. AOC, Bernie. I don't give a shit. All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. None of them care about us. They don't. If they cared, we would have these things. The Senate would have voted 96 to nothing. 96 oh, they passed the CARES Act, knowing there's a $4.25 trillion uh, payday for Wall Street. This is like a banana republic, man. This is the United Corporations of America. And the states are all just floundering. I mean, California is going to have a 50-some billion dollar shortfall. And that trickles down to all the cities. Because, like, Los Angeles, no one's good. So there's, there's, there's some of the sales taxes goes to the state, but a little half a percent or percentage goes to certain counties and cities. None of it's, no one's, no one's, everyone's going to have a shortfall. Everyone, no one has it. And the federal government could have taken care of all this problem. We always have money for war. Isn't that weird? We have trillions of dollars. We have an endless supply of money for war. But we don't have money to take care of our citizens during an emergency. It just shows you the whole system's broken. And to listen to these two rat fuck parties argue like a bunch of dumb bitches and the stupid, the stupid media goes along with it. And then some people who don't watch shows like this go, yeah, yeah. the Democrats don't want me to have, get a haircut. Yeah, the Republicans don't want me to get, 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 get. They're all fucking idiots. So that's why you watch the show here. Thanks for watching. Boom. Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing, many of you, every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.